everyone. This is a video tutorial on how to determine the easy configuration of an alkene. So first, let's just establish what the rules are. The first one is that you need to label the priorities of the substituents attached to the carbons that are participating in the double bond. So in a double bond, you'll have two carbons, and on each one, you want to assign priorities to the two groups that are attached to them. So we'll have priority one, two, and on the other carbon, we'll also have priority one, two. The way that we assign priority is exactly the same as you would for an RS configuration, meaning that you're going to look at the groups attached, whatever has the highest atomic number, that is the one that will have the higher priority. Once you've established the locations of priority 1, 2 on each carbon, you're then going to take the groups 1 on each one of those carbons and figure out where they are relative to one another. If they're on the same side or same side, it works, it's weird, but it works. So if they're on the same side, you have a Z, and if they're on opposite sides, it's an E. So let's take a look at an example. Okay, so let's take a look at an example and figure out whether or not it's E or Z. So over here we have our carbons, these are the two that are participating in the double bonds, and these are the substituents that we're looking at. Now remember, when you're prioritizing, you are not looking at all four groups together. You're going to focus on one carbon, label its priorities, and then you're going to move to the other carbon and label its priorities. Never do it together. The highest priorities should never be on the same carbon. So if I take a look at this carbon here, I'm comparing hydrogen to bromine. Bromine has a much higher atomic number than hydrogen, so this would be priority one, and this here would be priority two. Now moving on, I take a look at this one completely separately from the first carbon. So now on this carbon, I have a methyl and an ethyl. So first we look at the immediate attachment. We have a carbon versus a carbon, so we can't indicate which one's higher priority at this point. We then branch out and see, well, what is that carbon attached to? This carbon is attached to three hydrogens. This carbon is attached to two H's and one C. This C leads to a higher priority because its atomic number is greater than H. So over here, we know that this is going to be higher priority one, and then this one would then have to be two. So that's how we assign our priorities. The next step would be to see where the ones relative on each carbon are to one another. So this carbon is up here, this carbon has its priority. So these priorities, number ones, are on the same side as one another relative to this double bond. So we know then that this here would have to be a Z isomer. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So in this case, we're going to be dealing with a line structure. So remember that in a line structure, hydrogens are implied. So if I just draw them in, there would be an H right here, and there would be an H right there. So remember, when you're doing EZs for an alkene, you're focusing on where the double bond is, and we know that there's a carbon here and there's a carbon there, and we're going to assign the priorities of the attachments of that carbon first. So over here, I'm comparing an H to a methyl group. The methyl would have higher priority, so this will be ranked one, this will be ranked two. And in this case here, a hydrogen would have lower priority than an ethyl group, so ethyl gets one and the hydrogen gets two. So now you might have to alter your perspective a little bit when you're trying to figure out if they're on the same side or opposite sides. But if you look at that double bond, the number one is below and this number one is above. So these two are on opposite sides, so this would be the E isomer. And that's how you figure out your easy isomers for alkenes.